Welcome to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. Join us in our campaign and shenanigans as we explore the subterranean labyrinths, plunder hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters. This podcast will be following our gaming group and the adventures of these characters, as well as a few guests from time to time. Join us as we start a new campaign and our journey to experience the best, and maybe the worst, in the 5th edition of Dungeons & Dragons. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. And I was like, oh, I'll take the job Welcome back to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition. In case we had no. technical difficulties... Oh, welcome back to Lady Knights of Adventure! Yay! Yay! <laughs> in case we had technical difficulties, the group teleported into the air room. In the air room, they accidentally encountered tentacles of the t- of the horned jellyfish that was protecting his dead master in the magic circle that happened to be where the group teleported into. There was a bit of a misunderstanding where people were doing the things to it, and they kept going... <laughs> making sad noises because it attacked us first. I guess unintentionally. You went under its skirt. It teleported into the tentacles. The group did some research. All of a sudden, the monster hunter found a scroll that had some information about what may have killed the dead guy in the circle. The floating suit that he's got is, is salvageable, but, but to be worn by somebody. There's a floating suit waiting to be used by somebody else. And what what information does the monster hunter want to relay? Something like <laughs> the, the fire, the spire walkers. Okay, are we so oh, awesome? Or the snake heads. Heads. They like gold and copper pieces, ew, which I'm willing to part with to not die. <laughs> Apparently, there's a nasty little definitely critters. electrical damage. Um, don't hit it with melee. Okay, so uh, spells. For the most part, a range? Yeah. Um, a range counts as. Uh, melee attack using a metal weapon takes five damage to you. You take five damage. Oh. So which pretty much would just be me and March. Yeah. 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 So arrows don't count. Yeah. Arrows and javelins, right. unless you're holding it. Because it's using the weapon as a uh, conductive. They're essentially little trickster fairies with electrical damage. Like they do. Um, Okay, so their main thing is a lightning dart, which is a ranged weapon attack. So if there's no steeple around, do, can they not teleport? It says within view uh, of 30 feet. So advantage on dexterity. But if there's no steeple, they don't? Yeah, this is the spire walker can use 10 feet of its movement to step magically from its position to the point of the steeple mast or other spire-like features. So anything tall like spire-like, yeah. So pretty much anything. And the lightning dart, even if it misses you, does half damage? It does damage to you for half damage. So you save the creature. Don't group up. They have an AOE. Yes. Whether the attack hits or misses, 
is intended to target every other creature within 10 feet of the target space. These things have a nasty AoE, so we have to be careful with the uh, spire walkers. Why would we add half hit points? The first picture is a boy. Oh! It took me a minute to figure out that it was a boy in the first picture. Just yeah. a new one on the Yes! So they like, they're just prankster fairies, but they have a lot of electrical damage. Yeah. Oh, boy. And they're AoE, so we stay away from each other. Oh. At least 10 feet away from each other. So spread and out. Even if they miss you, they hit everyone around you. Guinea on the thing? I know. Yeah. Okay. I'm, so I'm this, reading the thing. This thing on his, that he's wearing. The suit? No, the necklace. Oh, yeah. The that necklace. looks like you might need it for the jellyfish. Oh, no. It, it looks like it's another kind of the pendant that's used for the teleportation circle to go somewhere else. So we'll take that for sure. <laughs> so okay. can I, is there anywhere like to touch the jellyfish where it might not hurt me? Uh, you probably want to, uh, maybe do a really good animal <laughs> handling roll to see if you can get it to, to come down and get in its, its saddle if you'd like, but it seems to not be interested in doing that with you guys right now because of the whole attack thing. Maybe they could charm it. <laughs> I could eat with animals. Okay, Dr. Doolittle, get a shot. I to <laughs> touch it. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know, know that you were on our That's side. Why I was like, is there, I you, know, you can you touch were... one of the tentacles by all means. You can touch one of the uh -huh. tentacles and talk to it. Do any of them look like they want that me? Sure. Yeah, it's too long. Keep your them. tentacles away and we, we won't like hurt you anymore. Cat and he had his testicles all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, that movie. How do you think he multiplies? Like, I like know. Like, so he's gone away like from the perfectly good white boy. <laughs> <laughs> what is she supposed to do? That's the best line. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. look at what else the guy has there and see if I can start repairing so the suit. Okay, so you jump over to the guy and start taking the suit off. You notice that there's a couple of tears. Of Some of these tears look strategic, like he's, there's a there was a pouch or a pocket that's been ripped open. Hmm. So it looks like someone may have looted the body, so to speak. Well, apparently the these little buggers like gold and copper. Yep. They have a penchant for metal. Um, we turn it into their little shiny things. Can we? Sure. Yeah, we may not actually repair this anymore. Uh, basically, well, if somebody had the men spell, that'd be really handy. Is mend a uh, cantrip? Actually, a level one spell. Then I didn't take it. I filled my slots with other things. You believe the suit <laughs> could function as is? Let's just use it. Unless but something would add. The only one that it would fit is the cleric for the bard. And you have a perfectly good one. By the way, the suits do look adjustable for up to small races. Some amazing, uh, you probably have to take, you know, a long rest maybe, but you could get it to fit a small, small race. Uh, can I go over to the little dragon? Should we, should we have our person who's good at magic do that? What, with the dragon? Wear the suit. Yes, oh, okay. So, uh, March, you're basically spending your time stripping him out of his thing. Okay, so, uh... Jellyfish is moving further away from you guys, looking sad as you're stripping its master. Can we throw him a potato leaf, Tim? You're, you're not exactly sure. I'm going to play. I'm going to play a sad song, sort of like in honor of that a morning Aww. song. Yeah. Come back, spiny ugly jellyfish. Okay. So uh, basically, I'm I'm getting the skinny that you guys would like to take your time to put the suits on. Yep. So who all is going to wear the suits? The squads, we have? we have two. You have one damage oh. and one in perfect condition. Does the wording fit in one? The wording could fit in one. The wording could... I the wording is kind of heavy. But the wording has good decks. Yeah, but this, the suit gives you feather fall. So even heavy, you'll fall like... Well, I'll see if mm -hmm. I can hop up in that Deal guy. with that. Deal with the jelly? Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh, a person. It's a one-person saddle. Are we taking okay. a short break? 
my background is yeah, it's outlet. This up. Yeah, okay. Okay. well, if we're taking a short break, I'm going to sing Song of Rest. What if okay. we eat? Yeah. Um, so, so, who are the two people wearing the suits? I can tell you what they do. So, John, so, uh, Dust Wild is one. Who else is going to wear the other suit? Okay, you all get four points of, uh, back. Four hit points? Yeah. Yay. Okay. And my hit die is a D10, so I will be rolling that for recovery. Yeah, same. Ooh, one. ten! What? <laughs> <laughs> so you get 14 back. 27. Oh, I have it. So who else is taking the seat? Uh, not Bard. Bard? No, Bard has one. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll have take Featherfall. So. Okay, so Clark, that's a smart choice. Well, technically, yeah. Featherfall will apply to all of y'all. Oh, okay. I can cast it to five people. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, we can get this one down. More importantly, right. but so. it's a one shot. So I put this side of the table are both wearing the wing wearers, which yeah. are wondrous, uncommon items. This snug uniform has symbols of air stitched into it and leathery flaps that stretch along the arms, waist, and legs to create wings for gliding. A suit of wing wear has three charges. While you're wearing the suit, you can use a bonus action to expend one charge to gain flight speed 30 feet until you land. At the end of each of your turns, your altitude drops by five feet. Your altitude drops instantly to zero feet at the end of your turn. If you don't fly at least 30 feet horizontally that turn, you gotta do the whole flying around. Okay, when your altitude drops to zero, you land or fall and must expend another charge for the suit to work, work again. And after at least an hour, uh, in air, any area that has elemental energy like this place, it recharges one use. Once an hour? Yeah, it recharges one use an hour because it's sucking up the element. Perhaps when you leave this little little snippet plane of air area, it won't do that. But, but now it's doing it. Yep. Now it's filling up with gooey airs. Okay, so. Uh, while you guys are getting your suits on, stretching, <coughs> relaxing, maxing, and you know, all that good stuff, March is going over to the dragon eggs. Right? Oh, uh, I'm just going to like... The song of rest. Uh-huh. He'll get two for Oh. Though it's still going a distance away from you guys because you're scared yourself. I try calling it back. Like I put on, when I put on the suit, uh -huh. I kind of try to get within its eyes sight. I, I don't yeah. know. It's sensing range. Yeah, and call it back. Okay, give me an ammo. Okay, this is right now. Tell you, can. So. you can try to assist if she's willing to assist or do it herself. <laughs> I, get, I get plus three? Um, oh, um, I have a plus four. No. So if you want to well, assist, yes. I mean, assist, that's the worst that happens. You do really bad, she's at disadvantage. She rolls really bad and you're at disadvantage. I tried. <laughs> she's like, rough, 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 rough. My oh natural my 20 God. is no longer good, but my 13 is What's okay. 17? What's your total? It's 17. 17. But I would have had a nat 20 <laughs> to get it to come back to me. I, I would have instantly cuddled up against you in its master suit <laughs> thinking it's him. Oh, oh you and, and, and so and, much like him. And it kind of like comes down and drags its tentacles, like almost like it has very little control over all of them at once. Okay, and then comes down yeah, to the ground. <laughs> yeah, can I touch it now? <laughs> and I like, I, I think of the animals that I grew up with that aren't like normal animals, and I make cooing noises back to it. I, I try to recreate the sounds that it's making, but making them a little bit more chipper. Okay. Um, and I try touching it lightly. Like, okay. speed, trying to not touch its tentacles. That's what helps give you such a good role, is you use your, your animal abilities yes. your whole lifetime. And then March is going to come sneak up and touch it. Well, it's in a good mood. I'm going to cast Speak with Animals. Okay, you're going to use your Speak with Animals? Hit it, do a little something. Is that a tantrum, or is that a... That's a spell. And I gave the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with the beast for the duration. The knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence, but a minimum, at minimum, beasts can give you information about their locations and postures, including whatever they perceive or have perceived within the past day. How long does it last? 
Uh, ten minutes. Nice. Okay. So you go up and use your, your ability with it? Yep. And it's like, you do not even know <laughs> about these weird things that just killed my master. <laughs> and especially since the Sintel's only three. Oh. And you're basically getting images of fast flying, biting things down below. And you know, and then small electrical things up above. I'm gonna ask if he would mind if he gives us a ride and if he likes potatoes. <laughs> and it's oh, like mushrooms. <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. Raw oh, potatoes are so good. And mushrooms. But we just it's have like trip and balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And it definitely senses that uh, it, it's giving you the impression that uh, this, it's been alone for, for days. Can I give him a big squishy hug? You can give him a big squishy hug with like like plastic bag <laughs> against your face. Aww. I like you, but I try to kill you last. <laughs> You're gonna go. You're gonna mount the. You're gonna yeah. mount the jelly. Okay. I'm going to apologize. Give me I a quick, still... quick climb roll to get up there. So the athletics? athletics. Yep. Five. At UC March, kind of trying to jump up the jelly, and then I my husband. <laughs> it slide on the side of the jelly. Just I'm cute little like a big hug as it slides down. <laughs> 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 quick, 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 grab my foot, grab my foot, grab my foot, grab my foot, So I put my, I put my hand underneath her foot, and I try to... I'm going to convey that we're friends with it, too, and that we will not, we were scared, it startled me. Yeah, he scared us, but we won't hurt him again. <coughs> oh, no more, no more. Yeah, and I... I have a strength of 14, I don't know. Yeah, it's you enough. Up. <laughs> and so I, you can, like, as she's sliding touch. down, I put my hand under her foot and give her a Slide brace. Back up. Give her a brace to kick herself up there. A little, 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 little saddle up there. I was going to help her up, but I also need to get on it, too. Otherwise, I'm just going to get How many people can ride this thing? It's it's only a one person saddle. But I can occupy it. Well, well right? yeah. You can, yeah. Not to send her lap. And she can better fall. Well, it's a one shot deal for. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I assume werewolf husband and I will be riding the jellyfish. Okay, so werewolf husband getting on top of the jellyfish. I'm gonna just fly this shit around. Um, <laughs> I kind of wanted to look at the dry cake first, but... Hey, the, the, the... You, can <coughs> you can come back when they've all hatched. Yeah, that's why I like. <laughs> We've got our boot hat. So if the master guy is dead, how do we beat the room? I got the little teleportation necklace. So I we got the teleportation thing. We've got stones. But that was we the have master, a freaking right? awesome that, that was, was the, 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 not the man, you know, the master. master. That's, the, that's the, the teacher of this room. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. It is the instructor who's supposed to be here to give you that scroll case. Because we'll have to beat all these rooms in order to get out of this place. Does he have a scroll case for us? He did not have a scroll case, but it did look like the suit that Juan is wearing, it, there was a pouch yeah. and a tube so area, cool. and it was ripped open. The spire so face is stolen. Yeah, we gotta find those little spire walkers. Put no, around my jelly jewelry. Fish. Whoever's wearing and the most jewelry is the leader of the game. I've got <laughs> the gems. So That's how they wearing the most gems is the leader. So Morius is leader. <laughs> I have 28. So uh, you do know notice, is like, anyone going to obvious. check out, I'm assuming Duskwild is going to check out the book thing? Yes, I'm going to check out the book thing. The book thing does give very vague directions, which you looked, you had the, you you read that book and know the directions, but forwards and backwards. Basically, you're, you're, you're in here, very fast. you jump down, and there's an airflow, an actual airflow that catches you and takes you to the next one. Then the same thing that happens here, and then down here is a challenge where you have to do the thing to make an airflow to get all the way to the very top. And that's where the uh, instructor will be to meet you. Can we fly to the top on the jellyfish? You could fly to the top of the jellyfish. 
<laughs> Unfortunately, everyone else that doesn't have the ability to independently fly cannot get it. Oh, yeah, let's not split the party. No, no, we can split the party. I'm okay with this. Okay, there's two levels. I only have so one feather fall. To this, yeah, to this, to here, and then all the way up. So, what are those things I'm on the second level? The, you do, you know, if you'd like, you can actually go to the edge and look down. Yeah, it's a couple okay, hundred feet. Down. Okay, if you look down, yeah. you see it looks like a bunch of statues of different flying creatures. Oh, it's that ring well, thing we saw. What times. if we just go to the bottom? Because yeah. I can talk to the jellyfish for 10 minutes and I can send it back up to you. Well, I have, I can use, I have, I can use Featherfall twice if I if don't do. Jellyfish can do it. Well, hell, if you want to do feather fall, you can all just jump and come yeah. and cause to the very bottom, pop your feather fall hopefully in time, and all land there. Boom. I mean, that's like you could bypass like half this thing. I'm going to go to the edge and see if with my arcana I can suss out the pathway of this air current I'm supposed to dive into to take me forward to the next challenge. Okay. Yeah, it's a. For a grand total of 20. Okay. Alright, so you look across uh, there and you basically can see where the wind is blowing. Like, we're talking a normal person doesn't need a wingsuit. You can just walk and the airflow will resist you to, to, to like, stairs take I, you down. I have no shit oh, so over the people's anything. Okay, skinny. Skinny, that, that, you know that in the, the elemental plane of air, there's these, these, these airships, as they call them. They're basically <clears throat> constantly blasting wind tunnels. That, that's how in the elemental plane of air things travel. They take these little, basically think of it as a river of air. So it's like things. a wind tunnel that you can go in. Okay. Exactly. Right, so you can safely go down to the, the secondary level. Mm -hmm. okay, even, with, even without the wingsuit. It's almost like well, the wingsuit is a the safety eggs. measure. Let's check out the eggs and okay. the... You, you see that there's a clutch of, you know, it's five eggs total. And two of them seem to have hatched already, and it looks like the other three may be sterile. So they, they, hatched, they, they hatched and they're gone. Yeah, two of them are hatched and gone. <laughs> two there you go. Can get three. Um, looking, looking at the eggs, can I tell what what was in them? Uh, well, the Morgan, from yeah. the ske sketches in the book, it definitely looks like the example of uh, wood dragons. dragons. Okay. There you go. Good story. Right. Yeah. 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 Huckster. What are you trying to say? No. Are you like? Is that are you trying word? to be a con man? Shyster. 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 That's the word. So is a huckster. Yeah. So is con man. So is snake mm -hmm. oil salesman. See, they were all right. So is confidence man. Yeah, I'm neutral over there. Man. Con man is just mm. it's, it's, it's the it's the proper grifter. Grifter. All of them. No, no, no. Gypsy's an no, actual traveler no, might be used there, but it's still a derogatory when you use that way. No, my grandma's a gypsy. Jasmine's registered. Well, that, that's a job within the gypsy family yes. of people? Because you can have legitimate <laughs> jobs. And yeah. Not all of them that retard your driveway are going to be off. Okay. Okay. Scam tour. Motorola driveway. I retarded. Here we retarded. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are gonna take it, the air shaft? Sure. I gotta take an egg. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> She's are you doing it with them herself. noticing or without them noticing? Them being. Why don't we wait the for the party? Can take it you, can, you can say, hey, I'm going last on the flying mountain, <laughs> we'll let all of you go first. <laughs> Does it have like a rope pull lead? The, the saddle? It well, it right? kind of like moves forward so you can like climb up. Okay. Um, do we like. Do we have any cloth or anything where we can make like a little bag and like put it over a horn? Yeah, it's it appears to be sterile, so you're you're taking an egg. inert egg. So you're so taking your egg and shove it in your backpack? <laughs> are you gonna <laughs> sneak that so nobody notices? It's okay. Are you gonna board. do it sneakily so nobody notices? No. Okay. I don't think there's anywhere to hide. Fight me! <laughs> do me a favor, pick a colored dice. Wait, wait. Okay. I got the live one. That's okay. I dropped a D6. Appear to be is apparently 
out of appearance sake only. So you hold the candle to it or the torch. Can we do that? You you can when you have time. And a torch. I've got time. And, and a torch. torch. <laughs> it's a twofer. Right, we're going to, to, get to the light of a torch and, sh- and ch- there, check the egg. Can we make anything out of the empty eggshells? You can take the empty eggshells if you want, but you want to make sure to walk carefully. Could we uh-huh. make anything out of them? Can you? No. Do you have any good skills for scrimshaw? No, but we I have create shit. That, that could be part of a spell component. Yeah, I'll there. grab a piece. Okay, so you're all grabbing a couple pieces. Like dragon like kill armor and all Like a small <laughs> well, sure style. Be, you know, I just grab a small piece. Like, like a not yeah. yeah, but yeah, just enough because I'm like go. literally my character's whole thought is that yeah, could be a spell component. Yeah, it could be. How big are they? They're about this big. So what egg is yeah. yeah, you are one, not one hiding is, that anywhere. <laughs> one egg is filling up your backpack nicely. Yeah. Two we lost. Did you Can grab we, one as well? Oh, Use my backpack and we're just hanging on the horn and so on test one. Did you grab one as well? She's gonna put one in my backpack and we're gonna hang on the jellyfish. And of course in March's backpack it's sticking out like We're gonna take a second. <laughs> you <laughs> like <laughs> gotta use them all. <laughs> I just have to sit there looking at us and be like What? <laughs> I gotta carry okay. it anyways. So. so you guys get ready to take the the air path to the next level. Yeah. 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 Okay. Really well, these two are doing their shenanigans with dragon eggs and the jellyfish. Okay. Let's go for eye of the tiger. See, the See, this is nice having the map. Oh, they landed in your purse. Looks so cool that landed over here behind you. That was the most miraculous thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that was that pulled off the map, down her book, onto the chair, into her purse. I mean, that, that's not impressive. Well, so oh, there's one under your chair. Except for the one that rolled away. Yeah, the one that I just picked up. Oh, here's one. Okay. But your oh, bardic inspiration is in the first. There's one in front of your feet or bar. Yeah, a die, um, a d8. Oh. See, it was only one. I took it back. The inspiration I got it. Okay. <laughs> Inspiring you to right. clean it. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiring you to get out of it. Okay, so as you guys are coming down the little wind-blown tunnel that's this slowly swirling you guys down here. You guys are about 100 feet away, you can almost half the distance. Jellyfish is slowly. How are you guys controlling the jellyfish? She's talking to him. Okay. No, but I mean, are you, are you keeping up with the party? Are you ahead of the party? Like, hang out. Are you hanging like, right over their heads? Yeah, but we, we want like, not over them. the tentacles out of the way, so we're going to stay like off the little island. Does okay. he know anything? Can we ask him? What do you know about these things? What is this going on right here? What does this do? Funny jellyfish. In front of the jellyfish. We're just gonna like go gym. around the edge of there the you island, you know, and check mm-hmm. no. <laughs> so are you gonna do that? No. Okay. I feel like that would be bad. Separating from the group from a distance. So as you're blue 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 blooming down there and you're floating ever so softly and gently in this breeze, it's actually quite pleasant except for how it's wind sweeping your hair. Whatever, right? <laughs> your hair's gonna be super, super, super serious. Okay, as you guys are about 100 feet floating down, the jellyfish, you're keeping basically altitude with them. So you're both both at the same altitude? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But we want to make sure that his tentacles don't accidentally touch you. Yeah. Maybe a little bit behind, but above. Okay. But behind them? But, but behind, okay. To make sure so they get okay. Because they're basically being okay. swirled this way. In swirls. Okay. Big swirls? Big swirls. Big swirls. Can I get a swirl? How about like yeah. enough behind them that they're not going to get in tentacle range okay. above them? Okay. Them okay. Tentacles up. Mind your tentacles. Mind your tentacles, and it's like, oh, don't know so much. So everybody give me perception while you're floating down. You're trying to keep your stuff together. You're amazed that you're working on way too much. Woo! money! And this is a what roll? Perception. Big Perception. green bath. I got a 14. 21. But a natural. A natural 20. You know there's danger. Watch out, guys. 
Statuary, not in fact statuary. I don't believe any of them are in fact statuary. <laughs> As white witch shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically the same yeah. size. Yeah. Clearly not. Right. Fine, fine. Be that way. Be that way. Hippograph. Take it. You're not on the face. Come on. Buckbeer, Buckbeer. Buckbeak, Buckbeak. Buckbeak. Now. I named him Buckbeak. March. You feel this slight moment of terror. As you realize what you see moving down. Can you talk to it? (laughs) I could, like, just jump on it and love me. (laughs) (laughs) You could try that technique. Work with her husband. (laughs) (laughs) I failed my role. (laughs) Love me, don't eat me. Love me so hard. (laughs) Again, again. (laughs) Again, again. (laughs) Do you need a minute? Like, I could slow down to the next level. (laughs) You're gonna. Means you're not coming. You're It just gets destroyed by pumpkins. <laughs> They're medium sized creatures. I hate that very much. They're medium. You notice two horrific looking things, and they're looking right at all of you guys and licking their, their big scary teeth. What is the husband's here and then what is that? <laughs> Hair oh. pierces to look at you. Hey, you oh, you're pretty. It's basically an evil deer with an evil bird of prey. Oh, and this that's horrible, cool. That's an ugly. That's how horrible it is. Well, it's, it's, it's ugly that it needs to eat body parts of humanoids regularly. Okay, yeah, that's not good. But it's yeah. ugly on the inside. Like, it's kind of ugly on the outside. It's got these like big jackal eyes. Do they speak? Like a dead They're like jackalope. flying jackals. They, 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 yeah. Maybe Rigel was a helmet thing. Oh, yeah. That would be what it would look like. Now we know where Rigel got. It, it, might, uh, it might be able to understand, but probably doesn't speak. Probably doesn't want and to. And they're looking at you, and they start doing the whole bird thing of food. Food's coming. Food. Are you Mrs. Doubtfire? Hello? Please don't. Hello! Hello! Yeah! Jaws and Dusty are the best. Oh. Hello! <laughs> Is that drive by pro Taylor? <laughs> Were they. What are they speaking? Could they be persuaded? You can try to use a skill Something to do that. tells me that's not going to be But effective. in the meantime, you can roll <laughs> initiative because they seem very aggressive the fact that they're about to take wing. Oh. Three. Natural 20! 20. 20! Not 20. What? What? 11. After my four. <laughs> That's great. Three. And 17. 20. Yeah, 20 for realsies. We're, we're rolling initiative. Yep. Yes. March, what did you get? Three. Fuck me. Yes. How does that be described as a number? I rolled a one. <laughs> What's okay, your initiative? So some, critical sometimes fail. that can be good. Grand total of two. Songsman? I got an eleven. You will arrive to the party last. Fine. No, that can That's be a good perfectly thing. Perfectly fine. Yeah, that because can be good. we can engage the aminals while you are like, no, not me. I'm little. Do I have oh, that? <laughs> That's so friendly. That's the thing I have the is an right? An amuse bouche. Do you have that in combat? Or are you going to be in trouble sitting in this <laughs> mount? I'm a licorice flavored amuse bouche. <laughs> so when it comes to mounted combat, by the way, you can choose to have your pet move and either you or it attack. You can right. tell it. You to... can have it do its tentacly grossy thing over other people. Yeah, can I just like 
like a car wash? <laughs> yeah, sure, these things will stand still for that. I just fly over them. Like a car wash, like little. I imagine yeah. they're a little bit faster. Than At us. the car wash? That's like typical. At the car wash. Uh, I don't know if I have money. Okay, so Juan. Yeah. You, by the grace of Nike, have and first have initiative that is swift as the winds here. Yep. Yeah. What would you like to do that you see a hundred feet away these third deer of prey licking their lips and getting ready to take wing at you? Um, I, I flip myself around. So I become a spear instead of walking in the air. Oh, I'm going to move faster through the air than okay. expected. And I'm going to tumble onto the ground and come up and try and save her to like that. Mm. Are you going to use the suit's ability? Or are you just going to... You know, you can sacred flame them without hitting the ground. Yeah, but I don't want to be in this crowd of things happening. I want to be over here where they're not expecting me to be. Oh, That's my current plan of action, is to be where they don't expect, because they're like, look at them floaty, tasty little morsels is going down. Where'd that one go? <laughs> is what I would like to have. Yeah, gotcha, now I see your plan. Good plan. Yeah. And so that's my plan. Okay, so you, with your wing suit, you can travel 30 feet, you know, in any direction. So you can okay. spear and do that. Okay. So you're going to want to go down 30 feet, so it's only 60 feet away from the, the thing? Okay. Okay, so you're within 60 feet of them. How, what's the range for 60 feet? Does it have a range? Yes, it does. It's like, if I know. Because if we're that far away, I'm, I'm not going to do a damn feet. thing because it's there's nothing to do. I'm pretty sure it's 60 feet. Because that's perfect, but you're right in range with them. 60 feet. So you're right in range to Sacred Flame one of them. Okay. All right, the target must succeed on a dexterity, saving throw, or take D8 of radiant damage. <gasps> Jesus, okay. Can you play like I've been playing for a while? <laughs> what? That's, that's exactly how it rolls. He's rolled threes and fours for you every single thing you do. <laughs> my my just... saving is 13, and he rolls an 18. Uh, and he rolled yeah. a 19. It started as a four, and then went D8. It's, the it's a cleric. A cleric. Because yes. when she plays yeah. Sister Solace, I, she never hits the sacred flame. Uh, no, I take. I, I you did hit that actually. one on. That one the other day. When they rolled a the natural one. Yeah. Well, I know what I'm picking up on the bubble. What are you picking up? She, well, she hasn't had a mount, so she yeah. hasn't bothered with it. She will have a. A level five. How is it now? Okay. Kill these. It's a yeah. It's a paladin thingy. His guy. Big shark, but you weren't there, Golda. I was not there for the big shark. Trust me, Sharknado. Thank goodness for save death saving throws and her. Otherwise, your mount would have killed everybody. No, the shark's mount. Somebody else's paladin. Yeah, bad guy paladin mount. Water cold. There was a shark. The monk had to jump in and save the drowning, half-eaten cleric. Because I always save the cleric. And the group's like, what are we gonna do? Ranger's shooting arrows into the water, and you don't do that d d because unless you're adjacent, it always misses. So, all of a sudden, they're gonna take flight and come after you. Sure! Oh, no. So the first one is going to attempt to talon you. Nope. Will a 20. Wow. Yes! Okay, for eight points of piercing damage. Okay. Remember, you guys, I have rolled crap for everything, so oh. I do not have good hit points. I can bless Notes. you. No, I don't. No. So that was eight? Eight. Okay. Shit. And then the second one is coming up. You can see it almost looks like they're, they're bird-wise bickering with each other. Who gets the meal? Will a 15 hit you? Yeah. No. Okay. And that then, is just under my my ability to be saved. The second one is actually going to bite you and miss. Oh, of course it will. <laughs> the bigger target, it misses. <laughs> cool. They're fluttering and flapping like birds. So, Gavril, 
It is your turn. <coughs> so which one of you is actually driving the mount, by the way? That would be Gavron. When it comes to mount, mounted combat, who's um, actually using the mount? Do you have mounted combat? I don't think either of you actually no. have it, but you, you should drive it so I can just stand up on its head and just smash it. Because then if I'm standing on it, it's not counting as mounted. But you're at a disadvantage. I say we just car wash our temples over <laughs> What's the... I do remove... Now, just the movement, the movement speed on it. You know, I'll actually give you your friend because... You want to be mighty, mighty careful of that uh, car wash feature because that's a 20 foot swapping area that gets hit. Yeah. Yeah. Swap it from the high range. Yeah, that's. That's a big range, including your cleric, who's taking some damage. Yeah. You don't want to electrify your cleric and try to restart he's so her heart. cute. Like, he's got like a little quarter cap on. A little Elizabeth. That's what it looks like. It's true. Yes, it's like, true. The last teacher of this place liked that mount because you know, anytime problems happen, you put things in check. Guess what? The little spire walkers use electricity. What's he immune to? Electricity. Oh, the what? The immunity? Oh. Uh -huh. Lightning? Yeah. So the little bastards use lightning. Mount's uh -huh. Didn't help but him I, at all. Very good. But I didn't keep prayer healing, so I won't die. Fair enough. Look, he's lawful good. But he does have a tusk attack. He's so an aberrant creature from basic oh. transdimensional Cthulhu place, but he's lawful good. There's a couple weird ones that are like that. Like Fromps, they're these stupid little jellyfish, and literally they're stupid. And they, they suck psychic power and be smart. Let's so, put it this way if you knock one prone, there's a 50% chance it falls upside down and does a Three Stooges thing. Am but I controlling this right now? Or you're using that as your mouth. Okay, it's a cool so guys. Okay. But do I control it or just move it? You're controlling. So basically, it, like, when you when you're mounted on a creature, uh -huh. you can use its movement and its attack, or you can use its movement and your attack. And attack. Okay, I would rather use its attack. Um, and it's got twenty feet. And are they still right there? No. Yeah. Where are they now? They're right there. Am I basically, she went down thirty feet. You would, you would still be missing it, but you could waft your tentacles over there because they have a 20 foot range. No, I'd rather do the stench spray. Oh! The 20 foot long. Oh, wait, no. Oh. That's an interesting one. It would be sad. But it would hit one, two. Mm -hmm. Anything you do is going to hit What, what does yeah. it do? Yeah, it's, 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 you can actually. If no, you it can, hit her. What's, what's a, it's a 20 foot, 20 foot uh, long, five but foot wide. wide. Yeah, each creature in that line uh, this must is make one. that success, successful. Just, so as just you're around, floating, if you, but the problem is you can only yeah, get 20 feet. 20 feet, but it also has a 20 foot long mm -hmm. spray. Wanda. Uh, so since she did go down 30 feet, you could go a little, and, and I could say you could angle to pick off just one, uh -huh. because unfortunately you don't have enough movement to go this way and go that way. Okay, so wherever five, is there? 5, 10, 15, 20. That's enough. Yeah, 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 you can do that and hit yeah. both of them. Okay, let's do that. Uh, yeah. Each creature in that line must well, make a successful long. DC 13 constitution saving throw it. or become poisoned for one minute. If the saving throw fails by five or more, the creature falls unconscious for the same duration. Yeah. So if they roll creature, an eight, they, they fall asleep. Oh, okay. the they in the pass middle out. of the air. In the middle of the air. I love how she puts that. The middle Poison of the air. Poison repeats the saving throw at the end of each of its turns, ending the effect on a success, on itself on success. Okay, so what's the DC? 13? Yes. And does it require an attack roll? I don't know. Look at my notes. I don't think it does. It doesn't say it's recharged no, it's, five, six, five. Yeah, so you have to roll up uh, on the end of your turn, roll a D6. If you get a five or six, it recharges. Oh, okay. So first one save. Oh my god. Night, night. <laughs> what? Roll of five, which is less than eight, which means. He plummets to the Jellyfish goes, Mom! <laughs> and a stream of gas, probably from its last meal and a potato, goes <laughs> shooting down this tornado twisty tube. Hits the first one, and it's going, Mom! And it like literally does the cartoon style wing stiffen out. <laughs> and it's just one eye shrieks the other, his face. And just passes out, falling in the like it literally just goes uh, stiff. What are these creatures called again? 
Dead skyfish. This is no, no, no. The Puritan. The Puritan. The they call them dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Both of them? Came up plates worse. Awesome! <laughs> and the other one just goes, <laughs> and they are falling. So I'm assuming a hundred foot drop will kill them. Well, the thing is, since you guys rose up, you know, they're only 60 feet in the air, which means they've only got basically yeah. one chance to make a save okay. so they hit solid earth. They have to roll a d20. Yep, on their turn. Uh, so, be that was that was quite useful to use your jelly, your horn jellyfish's uh, stinks work. How can I roll a d6? I'm going to give it a big fat hug. And go ahead and roll a d6. Oh, yeah, to recharge? To see if it recharges that power. Nope, it does not recharge. Basically, it's the same type of deal. Dragons have the same ability, like the dragon's breath. So you roll. can't use it again next turn? Yeah, you don't have it until at the end of each turn you finally roll to recharge. Okay, so next it's, turn I could use it, but I'd have to like try to recharge it. Yeah, you'd have to try to see if you can reuse it. It's basically how so you keep fire dragons then. from killing people. Cool. Well, they, they have a chance to wake up. They have one chance on they the next turn. That's it. Yeah, they so have to we, make a save. We continue on our path. You guys and are continuing eyeball, on. Eyeballing them. As they're. Um... Okay. So, Songsmith, what are you doing as they're falling to their death? Um... They are about 40 feet away from you. I am going to. Come up with this. Basically, <laughs> he just farted on them. <laughs> uh, you know what? I am going to. He uh... broke his head. I'm gonna cast Bane. Okay, no, no, no. Because that'll put them on disadvantage. Ooh, oh, that's dirty. Um, <laughs> so, uh, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna cast Bane because it goes up to three creatures. Um, uh, and it's a charisma saving throw. Oh. And they yeah, are, they have a lot of can they roll for unconscious? Well, they still get it's a saving throw to throw off oh, the yeah. effects. A disadvantage, yeah. right? What's the DC? Oh my god. Uh, 15. From charisma. I actually made it for both of them. It's one. zero. Wait, aren't they at disadvantage because they're unconscious? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with that. <laughs> Just remember when I use that, you get Like all good rules. <laughs> A nat 20. One of them so makes much the better. Save, <sighs> but the other does not. Okay, so then uh, they are. Uh, um, one's at one's disadvantage. One's at disadvantage by yeah. around. Yep. Let's see here. So then, uh, and you're you're continuing to walk down the air. Okay, now I have to roll a d4. No, so this four actually four gives them not a disadvantage, but, but it's a, a negative to their roll. Yes. Yeah, so there's a, they're negative Shut one up. for um, attacks and saving throws, and I'm going to give uh, March bardic inspiration. Woo-hoo! Okay. And you're continuing down the air path. Yes. I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Oh, and here is my baby. Well, nice. Oh, okay. I don't know where the jewel case is. Somewhere about it's hiding. It's hiding. Literally the exact opposite of where. Okay, so, Death Squad. Well, I'm going to. It's actually March's turn. I'm sorry. Death Squad, uh... hold on a minute. <laughs> All right. March, March. Do something. <laughs> <laughs> That's how these things go. But you're next, so be prepared. What, is everyone within 30 feet of me? Um, except for the cleric who was bold and dove like a hawk on her prey. And apparently it was really well. Can we? Because, you know. Can I also move to I thought I was closer. I thought I was going to land. Like, I didn't realize that I was not going to land. Unfortunately, only one person controls the mount. That's why I wouldn't ask. You're basically sitting there, you know, all shotgun on the mount. Well, I'm going to do this for the cleric. If I can bless her for a 1d4, but she keeps my range. Well, what's your range? 30 feet. She's still within range. Is she? Okay, yeah. so. La, la, la. Oh, like three people. Yeah. So I am going to bless Claire. You're going to feel blessed, Claire. All of a sudden, you feel very fertile and randy. <laughs> so you get a yeah. birthday. <laughs> they can roll a one d four to add you any roll. Yeah. Oh, so you have a one d four to add to your any d twenty roll. Yep. Okay. Yeah, and then I'll do dusk wild, and I'll do jellyfish. Okay. So, so roll your one d four so they know how much plus mm-hmm. they get. No, they it's, roll it. It's like Friday Oh, okay. So they can use it. They choose it. They choose Every it. Every time they use it. 
Notice every says, time. You bless three creatures of your choice within range. Whenever a target makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number of attacks or saving throws. Perfect. Forward. Now, how long attack does this go? Up to a minute. Up to a minute. So concentration, so as long as you keep so, channeling it. Jellyfish. Cleric. Warlock. Warlock. Okay, so speaking of the warlock, Dusk oh, Eyes, it's that your that turn that. for real. Um, I'm going to uh, just dash. Oh, you're gonna, so you're gonna run as fast as you can into the winds? Yes. Did okay. They die? No, they did not. Fifty. Okay. Speed. Okay. Basically, just like you, she's diving and going. <laughs> diving. Okay. Dive, dive, dive. Okay, so back to the top yeah. of your lawn. Like are you continuing past right. them? Yes. Since they're diving? Go okay. Yep. Are you, I'm assuming, in landing? I'm, I'm attempting to get to the landing. Okay. And, uh, and you're using yeah. one of your charges, right? Is that yeah. what you're yeah. 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 Yes. Okay, so all of a sudden you see your cleric continuing on like a falcon. Then all of a sudden, she spreads the wings and lands softly like a feather. Because she's that cool. She's Followed by well, two of those. She does have wings. Unless I have a spell. <laughs> yeah, and you know Nike has wings. Followed by two. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one at disadvantage. I'm going to say. Only roll one. What's your DC for the jelly? Two, see? Yep. Thirteen. Oh. He just rolled a thirteen. Do you have a negative or a positive? Do. What's this? What's the safe for? You're negative one. The one that had this, the first one was negative. Oh. Only one. Remember, one of them rolled okay. a natural twenty. Yeah. 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 This is the one who who's not rolling with the negative. Yeah. So all of a sudden, one of them kind of like, what? What? Panic flight! Panic flight! Panic flight! Well, Using its action to try to not splat on the ground. What is the? No, I, mean, I don't know what his, oh. I don't know what his stats he's, are. He's zero. Oh, he's so zero. Okay. Rolls for, for, okay. for that. And the other one is going curse flat. One. Let's see how much damage. Not. Glass. <laughs> glass. Glass. I need to go sell what I have in a minute. That's it. Oh, I was about to say. Speaking of mine, <laughs> now you made me lose count. <laughs> bad person wanted to be a bad person. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> One of them. My bar is going to nothing true. else. <laughs> Tells on her mood. Quack! And it, it's, it's not dead, but it's not in a good place because it's still out cold. And it's wings are pointing in weird directions. It's, it's, you just see this weird breathing, gasping, stink bomb for face. the eternal sleep in a second. Well, on one hand, as I, can get to it. I feel sorry for it because it's in pain and it needs to be put down. It's asleep. It's, in pain. <laughs> it's, it's still down. It's been gas. Okay, so Gavril, what are you going to do? Um, how far up from it? You guys only went 20 feet down because the jellyfish is one thing is it is ponderous. So <laughs> you're still about 80 feet above where the bird and the cleric, the birds and the cleric just landed. They're not on here though, they're on the ground? They're, they're over here on the ground. Oh, so yeah. these birds are over here? Yep. They're not ground ground. No, they're... Okay, so I'm like, <laughs> have I landed yet? <laughs> you have not landed yet. Oh, see, I thought they like fell. Hmm. I thought they were going to fall down to the bottom box. Well, the wind currents. Most we'll to that. You should have farted on, on another edge. Well, then they would I have a bunch have. of more saves as they're falling perpetually. Which I might be gone. <laughs> I might have just saved them from dying in midair. Can we? Yeah, yeah, so let's friend them now that they're. <laughs> What's the. Choking to death. What? No, I don't think they're gonna. Or a Zycon game. jellyfish over here. Yeah, You're pretty nice. sure these chaotic evil things don't want to be friends. Yeah, they want to eat us. I don't. I want their heads. Are we allowed to name the jellyfish Zyklon B? You I are. I can't really do anything without that poison well, you can, spray. You can, can pilot the, the jellyfish, tw do a double movement, oh, so you yeah, go okay. 40 feet, so you're yeah. only 
At this point, you're only, you went down 20, years. so you'd be 30 feet from the ground. And then you can see if your power recharges, as oh, yeah. I was paying my cat. Okay. So I'll be... Well, what these? Of course, I put it away. You want to draw one line here? Kimbo? No. That's all right. He's got a full face. But I got three two. Two. Did you do a double move? I did yeah. a double move, but I didn't make the um the recharge. The, the recharge? Yeah. Okay. So it so is now Songsmith's turn. I can't do anything. Um vicious mockery on uh the one that's flying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna What's call this? it a uh Is it charisma? Uh yes. Um a courage sheep fighting flat dragon. It rolled a natural twenty. Fuck. <laughs> he just walks away and he says, I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. Are we packing up? Yes. <laughs> Apparently, oh, it sure. was able to defend my oh, you one for all of us? Yeah, with an actual twin. I told you. I put it in the back. Pastor. Vicious. Vicious creature. Hold it. Whose is this one? These are from my jazz or just? Jazz. Jazz. Thomas, I, I actually sent him a text with a picture. <laughs> <laughs> we really like the, 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 the picture, picture with them all like touching each other. Well, back to like. Star like formation. Can we, we do that? Saturday? I uh, don't really recall. I need to request the time there. Oh, oh, sorry, go in early. When Jim comes back, we'll find out. Oh, pardon me. Let me. It took me two weeks to realize I could put chocolate soap in my coffee. She knew she could, but not at five o'clock in the morning. At five o'clock in the morning, you know you have some coffee. So March, what would you like to do? Yeah, I thought we were. Are we wrapping up? Yeah, we're wrapping up. Everybody said we were packed up. I was like, I can't do anything because I don't have the matter. Okay, so that is a good place to wrap it up there. Thank you for listening to D&D Journey of the 5th Edition, a member of the Creative Play and Podcast Network. And remember, be careful out there. There be dragons about. My mom and I kept the autism a secret. Otherwise, they would treat me more different, and they would like ignore me or something like that, like I don't even exist in the world. Autism now affects 1 in 68 children, and the figures are on the increase. People with autism are our friends, family, neighbours and part of our community. Autism awareness and acceptance is becoming increasingly relevant to society. My name is Yvonne Wong. I'm a social cultural anthropologist and broadcast standard film ethnographer. I would like to raise funds so I can conduct a full ethnographic study and documentary about how autistic individuals transition into adulthood. I would like to raise autism awareness and inspire people and employers to accept and celebrate human diversity. This includes observing individuals in their home and work environments. The proposed period of research is three months following the lives of multiple families affected by autism. Visit Film Ethnography for more information.